Hi and welcome to Billion Mind Series. We are going to learn something about geometry and measurement. These are basic tools for geometric construction. And that's part of a protractor. Geometric instrument and its uses. Protractor ruler. Straight edge set square. Compass divider. Pencil and eraser. <clears throat> Construction of a line segment. Steps to draw a line segment. Line segment simply means two points on a line. So construct line AB of line 6 cm. Step 1. You construct a line, a straight line. So you construct a straight line. Step two, you indicate and label the first point, that is A. That is A. Step three, we measure six centimeters, starting from zero up to six. If it were to be eight, open the compass up to eight. If it is 7.5, open the, open the compass at, up to 7.5. If it is 10, open it up to 10. Now you step at A. And you construct an arc. When you you open a compass from zero up to six, with the same measurement, step at A, and you construct an arc, and that will give you the second point, which is B. And from A and B, you get six centimeters. Measure angles with a protractor. To measure an angle using a protractor, line up the vertex of the angle with the dot at the center of the protractor. And then place one side of the angle with zero degrees on the protractor. Acute angles. Angles less than 90 degrees. I call them inside angles because when you are asked to construct any angle and it is less than 90 degrees, it will fall within the right angle triangle and the baseline or the straight line. So the angle falls here. That's the first point. Second point, if you are to construct any of the angles at the second point, between the right angle triangle, which is 90 degrees, and the baseline, the angle falls here. And that is an example. A, B, C. Always the middle letter is where we construct the angle. And so if you are asked to construct angle A, B, C, 65, the angle has to be at B. That's the middle letter. And when you are reading an angle using a protractor, for example, A, B, C, the middle letter gives the final answer. So as you can see, this is 65. A, B, C, 65. And that is an example of an acute angle. The same way we have Q, R, P. So R, P, R, P gives us the answer. And therefore, it's 75 degrees. Obtuse angles. Angles more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. I call them outside angle. When you are constructing any angle that is more than 90, but less than 180 degrees. Between the right angle triangle and then the baseline or the straight line, the angle falls here, outside. That's the first point. Second point. If you are to construct the angle here at the second point, the angle will fall within the right angle triangle and then the baseline, and therefore the angle will force here. And this is an example. Looking at SRT, it's called reflex angle. It's like you're opening your arm. And so SRT gives us 135 degrees. And angle MNO also gives us 120 degrees. Construction of angle 60 degrees. We are going to construct an angle ABC. Remember, 60 degrees will fall at B because that is the middle letter. And the length AB is 7 centimeters. So first construct your angle, uh, your straight line. Label and indicate the point A. Take your compass. Place it on a ruler. Open it to 7 from 0. Don't temper with it. Step at A, 
and a construct an arc. And that will give you the second point, that is B, and that is 7 centimeters. Next, you take your compass, you measure 1.5 centimeters on your ruler. Step at A, inscribe a semicircle. After inscribing the semicircle, don't temper with the compass. Step at this point, this very point, and construct an arc. After inscribing an arc, you use a straight ruler to join or to construct a straight line to pass through the arc, and that gives you 60 degrees. Construction of angle 30 degrees. If PQ equals 8 centimeters, construct angle PQR 30 degrees. Please, when you see this symbol, it means angle. And we're going to construct the 30 degrees at Q. So step one, construct angle 60 degrees. You know how to construct angle 60 degrees as well as the line segment. So our PQ is centimeters. You measure 1.5 centimeters. You step at Q, you construct an arc. Sorry, you, can, you inscribe a semicircle. After inscribing a semicircle, step at this point, inscribe an arc. This time we use dotted lines because that is not the angle we are looking for. Now we know that half of 60 is 30 degrees. And therefore we are going to bisect 60. Bisecting 60 means we are going to divide 60 into two equal parts. Take your ruler, uh, your protractor, sorry, take your uh, compass. Step at this point. Construct an arc. Step at this point. Inscribe a, a second arc to intersect the first arc. Take a ruler and then join the line through the two intersecting arcs. And that gives you 30 degrees. You can measure with a protractor and make sure it's correct. Construction of angle 15 degrees. Step one, you construct angle 60. You know how to construct angle 60. That is after you have constructed your line segment. You know how to construct 30. And this time you are going to bisect 60 degrees. So when you bisect 60 degrees, this is what you got. Then we are going to bisect 30 degrees to get 15 degrees. So bisecting 30 degrees means we, we are going to step here. We construct an arc. We will step at this, the 30 degrees here. Then we construct another arc. And then we use the straight edge to join, to construct a straight line passing through the two intersected or two intersecting arcs. And that gives us 15 degrees. You can use your protractor to measure. Please look out for part two, part three, and so on and so forth. Please subscribe, share, like, and enable notification. Thank you.